The federal government has pleaded with the organized labor to suspend the proposed strike on Wednesday, saying that the government is doing everything to ensure that the hardship occasioned by the petrol subsidy removal is sorted out. However, organized labor asked the federal government to scale up all its policies and programs aimed at elevating the sufferings of Nigerians as a result of the fuel subsidy removal. After the meeting with the federal government's representatives, the labor leaders said even though they have listened and read carefully the interventions and strategies being suggested by this administration, they expect more in corresponding to the enormity of the issues at hand. What we have been advocating for on the part of labor is wage award that doesn't have much bureaucracies, that doesn't have much, um, you don't have enough uh, issues around the law. because. The law that prescribes minimum wage said five years until you are made that no other thing can kick in. But we said for the immediate, let government come out. Just as some state government has announced that we're paying 40,000, some said 50,000. So they should do something like that. We have also heard some state as well coming and saying that they are going to pay PMS allowance of XYZ amount, uh, amount. So those are the wage awards that we were thinking and we are pushing government to do. We also made pre pro, uh, discussion by saying the 3,000 uh, uh, buses uh, uh, being proposed uh, to be made available is not sufficient. Ordinary, if you only divide it by the number of states we have, it wouldn't take us anywhere. So these are discussions are ongoing, and uh, the government came with an appeal of uh, shifting the intended uh, protest uh, tomorrow. We say, no, this is not something that we, for, for us to discuss here because we have other organs of the union that we have to go back and look at it critically because the truth is that the truth remains facts that every Nigerian out there is waiting, boiling out there to see what will come out of this very meeting. We equally pleaded with him that uh, buses should be put across all our higher institutions to enable us to uh, cope with the fuel uh, subsidy uh, period, which he has uh, approved that. I'm sure that you people know yesterday with that release we were able to get that. Then the next thing we are looking at is the issue of the palliative, how it will go to make sure that we are able to uh, get it right. The federal government, however, appealed to the labor unions to shelve the planned protest. Basically, we laid out the plans and the interventions of uh, Mr. President, as you all heard in his, um, in his broadcast yesterday. We made it clear that this was just Mr. President's initial um, rollout and interventions and that conversations will be ongoing um, as we go along. Um, and we appeal to labor. We did appeal to Labour uh, to call up their protest for tomorrow. Um, we found uh, listening ears here, and they did agree that um, they all accepted that Mr. President's uh, uh, um, broadcast was a welcome development, and that they will go back home to talk to um, the other leaders that are not present today. Meanwhile, on whether the planned protest has been called off, the Labour leaders said they would be meeting tonight to decide on the way forward and take a definite position. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.